most beautiful scenery through here. Very, very undulating hills. And, and we're on a higher position here so we can see the whole bowl. Um, we've got one slight problem is that uh, we haven't got any sticks that have been left in the pickup. So that's the way things happen sometimes. So what I need to do is, is somehow fashion together a, a way of actually holding my rifle. The problem I've got is to the wood from here is about 300 meters, um, maybe 120 over here. So I'm fairly happy maybe resting on something, but at that distance I need a firmer um, hold of my rifle position. So, um, and also we may need to move very quickly. I may go over there to take a shot over there. So I need to put something together. So I'm gonna just fashion together a tripod. Um, the American army used to use them all the time, three bits of wood. All I could do is find a bit of strap or something to strap them all together, which could be quite interesting. So I'm just looking at my hard kilo rucksack. There's some bits of uh, uh, rope on that as well. So I'm gonna see if I can pull that apart. I don't think my Cameron's got anything on him at all, so I shall have a look, see what he's got. He hasn't really shaking his head, nothing at all. So um, my rucksack's looking okay, but the, the uh, string's fairly small. So I think I may actually, um, sorry Zeiss, I think I'll be using your shoulder straps as a, a way of binding the three sticks together. So we'll have a go, and hopefully that'll give me a stable position. But the most important thing about it is I can actually move it with me, which is what the American Army did all those years ago. They always used tripods. So I think we'll have a go and see how it does. The, the wood's fairly rotten, but I think it's strong enough. So let's get going. One thing about being a farmer, is it always tie knots? Always have been from a very early age. I love, I love rope work. Actually, I found it fascinating. A bit sad, I suppose, but always has fascinating how people tie the knots. There you go. Wow. Hey, looking good. Well, let's see how we get on then. So we got. I get a leg in between it. And the height I can actually adjust by just moving the back leg. Some people cross their legs, find it more comfortable. That gets my knee. There we go. Well. I think that's pretty damn good. I'm quite pleased with that. Yep, that's about as stable as I can get. I see some people put their legs either side of the strap, inside the stick. And I can just move that up and down for my height. And that's actually very comfortable. I can actually sit in the position for quite a long time, fully relaxed. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm probably I think what we do, we try 300 yards. 300 yard shot here, not shot, but we try a practice, see what it feels like. Well, I don't know about 300 yards, but a good 200, 250. I think I'd be very, very confident of taking a, a shot which I feel was responsible. Last day here. Uh, it's raining, it's getting quite cold, my cameraman's shaking as well and he's fed up and he wants to go home. Uh, we've had a fantastic trip, it started on the coast, Dalmatian coast, no topsoil at all, pure rock, fantastic place with the mouflon. It's just the most fantastic place to, to, uh, to hunt. They moved inland up into the mountains here. Uh, shame we didn't see any ball tonight, so the weather's coming in, I mean, we lost the light so we can't uh, see any but uh, a fantastic trip, um, the most beautiful country. If you ever want to go out on holiday, just you don't have to go hunting. Croatia is a, it offers an awful lot, especially with the, the sea not very far away. So I think it's time to head back to, to Blighty. But uh, thanks Croatia, it's been a fantastic experience. <laughs>